you may have carried a, a UNICEF box around your neck. Well, basically, this was a full-size box that fit around my body, like from my neck down to my legs. Today we have Professor Kluwet, the instructor for Engineering Mathematics and Computation, also known as ESC 103. I am a professor in the Department of Chemical Engineering and Applied Chemistry, and I've been teaching for a long time at the university, uh, since 1986, so that is uh, 32 years now, so a long time. And. Uh, my experience directly related to MSI, the very first year I taught, back in 1986-87, I was given actually a third year course for MSI students that were taking at the time uh, the chemical option, um, and that was sort of my first exposure to MSI. And uh, I only did that for one year, and the chem option actually disappeared shortly thereafter because there were relatively few students taking it. Uh, and then I was Chair of Engineering Science from 2005 to 2011 and uh, it was actually during that time that we developed the course ESC 103 and I inserted myself as the first instructor in that course and I'm st still enjoying teaching it. Tell us why you are passionate about teaching. Uh, I, well, I'm particularly passionate about teaching first-year students. I teach this course to first-year MSI students and I also teach a first-year uh, section of linear algebra to the uh, students in the core eight. And I specifically ask to teach first-year students uh, because I really like uh, interacting with that, that group of people. Um, just sort of that, I love that sort of nervous kind of energy that first year students come in with and uh, I really like sort of helping students make the transition from from high school to to university so it's it's a real pleasure to interact with uh, people at that stage in their career but I also teach upper year courses third year course fourth year course grad course and it's nice to see some students uh, again actually that I've taught in first year um, to see how they've matured and and grown and evolved in terms of their thinking about their own path and so uh, it's just primarily the interaction with the students that is what I'm passionate about. What should students expect in your course? Well my course is uh, an interesting course uh, that you'll be taking. It is a course which has two sort of components. It's an introduction to linear algebra and it's also an introduction to uh, engineering computation and uh, the linear algebra piece really sets you up for your linear algebra course in second semester so it really is prep for that and the computation piece really is preparing you for courses that again you're going to have later on down the road where a lot of the work that engineers do is of a computational nature and um, so that's sort of what the course will look like. It, from a teaching point of view, it's challenging because a lot of the students coming in do have background in linear algebra, but also there's a large number of students that do not. So the challenge for me is to sort of uh, cover material, which some have seen, some haven't seen, but make it interesting for everyone and hopefully uh, something that everybody has a chance to learn something from. Um, I don't think it's typically students' hardest course, uh, but I do sense that students do find that they do learn something from it and there are some things that they're able to take away and use as they move through the program. What available support do you have for students in your course? Well, since we started the course, uh, we have, I've made it a practice of hiring senior or not senior uh, MSI students, but hiring MSI students that have graduated and are doing graduate studies at U of T. And I think each and every year we have a pretty good team of TAs, and I think they are the, probably the greatest support uh, provided to the students because they not only help the students with the material itself, but also they're people that the students can talk to about 
sort of the MSI program and the experience and what it was like for them when they were going through first year. And so I think that's probably the, uh, I think that's our greatest support that we have is probably the quality of the TAs that we have. What is your favorite thing about this course? My favorite thing about the course would be that even if students have had an introduction to linear algebra, um, they haven't necessarily been given an appreciation for sort of the geometric uh, interpretations that are so important for linear algebra. In other words, what I what I really value, and hopefully the students do too, is helping them to create kind of a mental picture of kind of what's going on when you're dealing with uh, linear systems and solving systems of equations and working with vectors and working with matrices. So I think that's kind of the thing that I really stress is the uh, helping students to sort of see the geometry and therefore visualize things in two dimensions and three dimensions. What do you enjoy discussing with curious students? I, I enjoy discussing, uh, well, uh, often it starts around linear algebra, but um, I, my background is not mathematics. My background is uh, I'm an engineer, um, and I enjoy teaching the course because I know how valuable this particular field of mathematics is to engineers. Students um, like to, to hear about um, where the course fits in, uh, with their other courses and I do like talking to them about that. That's actually something that I actually try to actually even build into the course like connections with ESC 103 and their other courses so it's something we actually talk about as a, as a class. Um, on an individual basis students will often ask in first year about research opportunities. Um, that's a very natural and common question because I think students in NSI often come in thinking that they would like to do graduate studies. So they're often curious as to what I do and what opportunities there are maybe in, in my field. Um, I also like to talk to students about their background, like where they've come from, um, what schools they've attended, uh, what was their educational system, because um, I really like to know a bit more about their background in the context of the ESC 103 because it really helps me to better position the course material for them. Uh, I guess those would be the things that I like talking to them about. What is your favorite memory from teaching this course? What is my favorite memory from teaching this course? Um, I have a lot of good memories from teaching this course. Um, I remember one year uh, at the in the last lecture uh, the students presented me with flowers, which was kind of very touching. I'd never, I don't think I've ever received flowers, so that was, and actually it was a, a male student who presented them to me, so that was kind of special. Um, another favorite memory I have, uh, and I actually have still some pictures of it, uh, was one year the university was trying to uh, raise money for UNICEF, and the way they were trying to raise money was that if a cl particular class raised a certain money, certain amount of money, uh, then that the instructor for that class had to wear this like UNICEF box costume. Like, do you remember in Halloween you may have carried a, a UNICEF box around your neck? Well, basically this was a full-size box that fit around my body, like from my neck down to my legs, and. So I have this great memory of actually having to do a lecture where, wearing this uh, particular box. So I guess those are probably two, two uh, particularly good memories of this course. Yeah. Do you have any closing remarks or anything else you want to say to the incoming first year class that you might see in the fall? Yeah, I have lots of words of advice, but you know, you, you don't want to give too many words of advice at this stage. Uh, you know, otherwise I think students find it a little bit overwhelming. So one thing I try to do again throughout my course is to sort of take the opportunity to talk to the students and provide sort of hints uh, and suggestions in terms of all kinds of things, um, lifestyle things, learning methods, uh, things. Um, the one thing about ESC 103, which I'll tell students about right up front, is that we, um, we don't have a lot of tests in ESC 103. We sort of structure the course more like an upper year course in the sense that we have a term test, we have an, a, a test towards the end on 
uh, MATLAB, which is the software that we use. And then there's a final exam, and that's primarily the basis for evaluating the students, which is quite different from the way that students are evaluated in high school. Um, and even in their other first year courses in NSCI, they'll, they'll typically have more testing. So we do that intentionally because we want students to sort of gain exposure to a course which is more like what they're going to see in the upper year where they basically have to create some discipline themselves around spending time on a course not just because there's a test the next day but because they're sort of trying to learn the material over a period of time and in doing so prepare themselves for these less frequent test opportunities so um, I think that would be the advice is just to be aware of that. I'll certainly talk to the students about that in, in early in the course, but it's probably one of the things that a lot of students have difficulty ad adjusting to um, is uh, that sort of infrequent testing and and therefore they don't sense that they need to sort of keep up with the work in, in quite the same way as some of the other courses. So, But that's an important adjustment that they need to make at university. Tell us a little bit about yourself. That's the first question. Okay. Uh, 